Welcome everybody. Uh, I thought I'd just do this tutorial. It's kind of like part two. This is a request by Explosion Animation. You wanted me to kind of go over a few extra things that I do in some of my animations. We'll start over here and I hope that maybe it'll help some of you. Let's just go over a couple of things. Let's see first. Let's go into options. When I do my dimensions, I like to make mine 1280 by 720. You can see the other things I have set here. That's just what I prefer. So we'll go ahead and we'll start with the frames. Now I'm going to make them walk because I'm going to show how I do my walking sounds. When I make them, when you make someone walk versus run, if he's walking, you can have his torso up straight. But when he's running, it's good to have it at an angle. And it looks like he's, you know, moving forward. But we're just having him walk for now. As you can see each time he walks, he's mostly evenly placed. Sometimes when I'm walking or making him run, I'm not exact on these things. I guess randomly. If you feel like something's going to be off, don't worry about it. Just have fun. It's kind of fun to just see how it all turns out. Then we'll make him um, stand. Right about here. Let's hit play. I like to take loop off when I hit play. Oh, there's some good walk. I'll just save this just in case I want to keep it. Uh, um, let's see, what's another advanced animation? Maybe do a kick. So suppose he wants to do a kick or a jump. Let's do jump first. So when you're getting ready to jump, you start to bend your knees. So make his bend his knees like this then try to get his feet to line up. Bend the arms, bend the torso down a little bit. You can make the head go up or down, whatever you feel like, I'll make him go down. Let's bend the legs a little more. And a little more. Maybe more like that. And then when you first spring into an action, usually it's pretty quick. So he's going to move quite a bit in that first jump. Straighten the legs right away. Maybe straighten the arms as well. I don't care. I'm making this random anyways. And he's going to be right about here. He's going to put his legs forward because he's going to get ready to land. And he's putting his feet forward like this. And he's going to land right here. And 
when you land, first plus second, he's not moving as much. Let's add some more frames like that. And I'm always saving <laughs> all the time because I don't like to suddenly lose my work for any reason. Quick place it looks like. Walks around. He jumps. That doesn't look too bad. What now? How about a kick? Alright. So, let's get him ready for the kick. He's going to get his leg backwards like he's ready to kick. And he brings it forward real fast. Maybe straighten the leg a little bit. Bend the knees, he brings it back down. a kick. Maybe what would be another thing. Maybe a trip. Maybe let's make him walk. First of all, when I go to turn someone around, if you don't want to do it instantly by flipping, you just start to bend all the body parts in the opposite direction, including the knees. That gives the illusion that he's turning around. Then we're going to make him run. So he's going to lean forward, and immediately he goes into a sprint. And as you know, in my runs, I'm not very specific on leg placements. I'm completely random. Then maybe there's something right here. Just imagine in our minds, that's where his foot's going to hit it. And he goes flying. A good way to make a crash, any crash, look good is to make the body parts look unrealistic. Now, this is bent this way, this is bent that way, that's bent that way. That doesn't make sense. That's what makes it fun. make him land right there. And if you want to make it look a landing look good, when he, once he hits the ground like this, you want him to bounce back up one time. See I'm making him bounce back up again. then lay him down evenly on the ground. Maybe, maybe he's embarrassed by what just happened. Maybe he's mad. So he's going to bring up his hand. And smack it on the ground. And maybe, maybe that's where we'll end that. We'll hit place, it looks like so far. He's walking, jumps, kicks, turns around, runs, trips, 
runs into a wall maybe and now he's embarrassed <laughs> we have 99 frames now if you want to know how this counter thing works this speeds it up slows it down let's watch it going fast see what it looks like as you can see it lock looks a lot more continuous so you have to do more animations in between to make it look better but I'm lazy so I choose 12 now when I go to save it you go export animation choose as AVI and then you can name it whatever you want click save let that do its job <coughs> stretch while you're at it if you feel like it file experimentation just to bring back up again I'm going to copy this because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring up my Sony Vegas program paste in my folder so I can open it up let's see now I'm going to choose a random picture Da, 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 da. Well, you yeah, know, let's use this one for the heck of it. I'm going to show you how to make backgrounds in Sony Vegas. Open those up. Bring in one, bring in another. As you can see, you can't see the background, so you're going to click this. And we're going to add a film effect, or excuse me, chroma keyer. Where is the chroma keyer? There it is. Add OK. This is a white background, so we're going to choose absolute white. Now you can see them, but it looks a little rough. Let's blur them a little bit. Maybe lower the threshold a little bit. Mm, that looks good enough. There, now he's got his background course you want to make sure you choose a picture of the same resolution otherwise you have these black bars All right now I don't care too much about that so I'll just leave it now for the sounds um, to explain what I use for sounds most of the time for steps I actually use what's in Minecraft it's easier to find the Minecraft sounds if you have the Technic launcher you can see the file path here. Name of the your username, app data, roaming, technic, assets, virtual, legacy, sounds, step. And I think the stone steps sound the best. Copy. I paste them into the project. Open. Now, pretty simply, or put it to put it simply, anytime he steps, he puts his foot down, you add a stone step sound. So I, I scroll through it very slowly until I see him make the first step. Yeah. We'll call, call that a step. Oh boy, I didn't mean to do that. Oh well. There's a step. Can't hear it too well right now on this computer, but that's where the steps going. And there's another step. We'll add a step there. And there's another step there. Maybe it doesn't look like a step. Maybe it does. You decide whether or not he's stepping. If it sounds like it's too quick, then you can get rid of some step sounds. So that's how you add in the steps. Um, if you want to add in other sound effects, I think the best place to go is Sound Bible. And I'll type in whoosh. These are my favorite whoosh sounds. can use whatever one you want. You simply just download it through here. And then 
in, you'll open it just like you did your step sounds, and you put them in just where you expect them. If he's punching, you put in a punch. If he's going to move his hand really quick or turn around real quick, you can do a whoosh sound. It's all up to you. Um, and then, of course, the last thing, question, um, what music to use. Most of the time you'll see I don't use any music, but if you want, I think Incompetech or PurplePlanet.com are your two best choices for royalty-free music. Just visit those sites and download it, and that's where you'll get the music. After you're done, you've made the full clip, and you got it the way you want it. I go File, Render As. I'm going to show you my settings. Because um, the resolution is 1280 by 720, that's why I have it like that. Customize Template. This will show you what my template looks like. You can see it's at 60 FPS. And that's supposed to say CPU only. I don't, don't use these, just use CPU, CPU only. And then once you've selected all those, you click it, you click render, and then it'll render your little animation. And hopefully it looks the way you want it. Um, I'm sure that I didn't answer everyone's questions that you might have within this other loot tutorial. If you have questions on any other things you want to see done, or if you just want to show or me to show you how I do different little actions like falling into a river and drowning or getting eaten, you know. Just ask and maybe I can make a little tutorial on how I do that. That's all I really have though. Hopefully that answers your questions. Thanks for watching and bye.